Oliver's dad here. I hope everybody is uh, geared up for the Christmas and Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I hope you have a good time. Nobody really watches these videos. I'm a podcaster. I don't have a face for television, um, but I wanted to make an AMC video. It's been a long time since I've done one. I'm going to address a few things. One, the YouTubers. The only one I watched today, I'm sorry, I watched two. Uh, Scavenger, which he has a good channel. And the reason I say that is because his attitude is good. He's a positive guy. He speaks, you know, clearly with articulation. Um, he's clearly an educated guy. But um, there's always something missing. And that is, what's the bad news? This is bullish, this is bullish, this is bullish. Okay, it is bullish. What about the money, the five billion? It may have changed. That's due. What is it? A year and a half, two years? In loans that they took out. Loans that, I mean, if we could see who was shorting the stock, very well were given out by the same people who are shorting the stock. I don't know if that falls into the category of predatory lending, but it sounds like it to me. Why aren't any of these fucking YouTubers mentioning this? Then I watched Jackson Hunter. I, I because I, because I need to see what the next thing is. Is he going to sell me a weight loss program? Is he going to tell me to try to you know can he help me fix my teeth? What is it? Now he's placing his fucking marketing ads. You know, click on this link, you get this free, this free. I partnered with this guy. Click on this. Now he's placing them in the middle of the video. And I have YouTube Premium. So it's like, okay, so you're going to force me to watch this commercial to get to the rest of your video? No, thank you. Goodbye. That Now that that's being said, my last point, and I'm not here to hold this guy's jock or do anything like that, but Marantz Rants is a guy who uh, has led many to see the light. Um... And I'm not talking about his opinions or the way he delivers them. Who gives a fuck? He brings up the financials. He reads them. He has enough of business knowledge. I don't know what he does. I know he's a, uh, I know he's a vet, but he has knowledge in of business, how to run a fucking business. He knows what these loans are. If he doesn't, he has people come on and explain what they are, what loans are what you know cat how you get cash flow how you look at um, when you stock when you when you get your stock up your, your products how you um how you handle that why you would why you would stock up and even go into the red for for a, for a period of time to when you're facing things like inflation and things like that my bottom line is the guy understands business quite well and I, and, and, and I do too but not he knows the ins and outs the terminology you show him a company's financials and he can fucking break it down for you he's done that time and time again with AMC time and time again and nobody's listening to him why why is not one YouTuber for AMC YouTuber saying okay guys listen what we're faced with is a race, basically a race to the bottom. The shorts are, are convinced. We keep shorting this stock. It doesn't matter. By 2024, they're fucked. They're fucked. They're not going to be able to pay this money back. The stock goes to zero. We make our money. They, they come in. AMC isn't going anywhere. People still love the movies and all that other shit. But what's going to happen is AMC will not be a publicly traded company anymore. They'll be privatized. Somebody's going to come in and buy them. You're still going to have AMC movie theaters. But they do this disingenuous thing where, okay, Avatar had a great weekend. We're going to be cash positive. So, yeah, maybe the stock should go up a buck or two. Maybe the true value of the stock is $20 or $30. But they're facing financial ruin. Look at their best records. Look at the best years that AMC ever had. Ever. Ever. In the history of the company, the 100-year history of the company, and if they had that, for the next two years, they wouldn't be able to pay off the loan. Loans, sorry. The credit card, that's not bullish. They, they allowed somebody to stamp their name on a card. So, 
you, during inflationary times, you issue a credit card and you think that that's a good idea? Do you think it's a good idea? I have a number of credit cards and they're pretty high right now. My utilization is way higher than it normally should be. So what did I do? Put them all away until I pay it down, until things look better, okay? I said things going on that moves and I have a special needs kid. So there's a reason I resorted to my credit, but even I know that this is not the time. This is not the time to be getting fucking credit cards. Everything that, and you know what, I want, and I'll be transparent here. I sold most of my shit months ago and went all in on GME. Because even if they don't squeeze, they have a fucking future. I'm not a dummy. At least I've put some money into a company that has a, has a future. And, and who knows what they have up their sleeve. Obviously something. All this bullish news and not... What, what are the board, the board of directors over there? The board, the board at AMC, are they buying shares? No. All those shares they dumped... Oh, but that was part of their salary packages, maybe. Maybe. But I'll tell you what, if I'm a CEO and I'm on the board of, of directors and I'm not hurting for money and I know that there's a, sh a short squeeze around the corner or even a, a big rally, why would I do that? There's a lot of unanswered questions that are right there in front of us because I still have some AMC and I still have some of those apes. But you know what? I've already kissed that money goodbye. And now I'm not telling anybody to get out. I'm not, I would never do that. But what I am saying is that these YouTubers are disingenuous. They're fucking trash. Trey Collins. What a Machiavelli guy. What a Machiavellian, I think, would be the term. You know, a year ago, he was this, you know, army kid with the fucking, you know, the, the right cut. You know, he's clean cut. He's talking about his pops and his heart problems and his fucking eye and all this other stuff. Draining out emotions and sympathy and all of that. While him and that sneak thief, Matt Coors, they took the money and run, didn't they? Did little TV show appearances and then Adam Aaron breaks off contact with him. There's a bunch of people in this thing that have made a lot of money. And it ain't you. And it ain't me. Except I sold some at 72. Because I'm not fucking stupid. I think that the time has come for some of these YouTubers, the ones that are left, to, 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 to take a different course, take a different route. Have some balls. Have some integrity. And say, guys, this is the reality of the situation. I'm riding it out. I'm going to ride this out because that's what I was committed to doing. You invest in a short squeeze, that's your business. My business, I, I did too, okay? And then I had somebody with a little bit of, and you can say that whatever you want about Moran. See, yeah, he's a little abrasive at times and and he's harsh and this and that, but you know what? Nobody really likes to hear things that they don't wanna hear. So he tells you, he gives you the bad news and then you get angry with him. But everything he said, for the most part, has come true. And if you don't believe me, don't don't tune into his live stream. Don't do that. Go back and look at the financials when he breaks down the financials for that company, for AMC, and and the gold mine too. And then look at the true connection of Mudrick, common sense investor, barely skirt. He went like this. He mentioned Mudrick, gave some background on Mudrick, but he didn't talk about the relationship between him and Adam Aaron. Didn't say, hey, what is this? Adam Aaron went to the went to the guy. Why? Why do you think the board doesn't know what's happening? They don't see the writing on the wall. You don't think they all know that within two years they're all gonna be you know, with another company or retired or wherever? Start having some fucking integrity is what I say to these YouTubers. And if you're holding AMC, go and look at the look look at what he has to say. Do that much. Humor me. The guy with no face. The guy with the bad face and the fucking no teeth. Look at what I'm saying. Just go and educate yourself. There's nothing being hidden. He's not doesn't have a hidden agenda. You might not like what he's saying. You might not like the cut of his jib. But he's telling you 
in these videos exactly where they are as a company. Now, if you think $5 billion can get paid back in two years at, what, how much a quarter? That just might be cash positive next, first quarter next year. Or maybe now. Maybe. How are they going to pay that money back? Adam Aaron has shown time and time again, I can't say this, I can't say, you know why you can't say it? Because of what you're doing to your investors. Jackson Hunter says, look at this other CEO, he's taking on this company. Yeah, well, the company that, he's, that this, this guy's the CEO for isn't uh, one of the old, well, the, one of the world's oldest and biggest theater chain. So Adam Aaron you know, is boxed in in some ways, but the fucking gold mine, the popcorn, the credit cards, the the toke, you know, the the, the the fucking NFTs. You know what that is? That's a hand job. Did you ever go home like well, you know, even when you're a kid, hand job is exciting. But when you get older, it's like I got a hand job. We're getting hand jobs, guys. And I don't mean any disrespect to Bigums, who I think is I think he's good, man. I think that if I had a company and we were doing research on something, I would want him at it because I, I have a, I admire him. Al from Boston, right there, right there, Al. You phony. We don't even know what he looks like. <laughs> we don't even know what this fucking guy looks like. He shuts off all his comments. Kicks people off his channel because they're friends with somebody who questioned him. Mr. MIT, wave that flag, patriot, motherfucker, don't know shit. He doesn't. So all these guys are leading people off the cliff. And they have no shame, no second thought, no no shame. Where's your shame? Anyway, check out Marantz Rants. M-R-M-A-R-A-N-T-Z. R-A-N-T-Z. Marantz Rants. Go check him out. Grow up. Grow up. Listen to the videos about the financials of AMC. Watch what he breaks down. Print out the financials for yourself, too. You can do that. And you can look at it. You don't think I did that? Where I went and I said, what the fuck? What the fuck? I said, he's right. Get wise, people. Get wise. YouTubers, have some integrity. Clicks and views and likes and smash this and smash that. How about smashing this right down here? Smash that. Everybody have a wonderful Christmas with your families and, you know, hold the people in your lives close to you and love your kids and let's all try to be a little bit nicer to each other despite uh, everything I just said. So long now from Oliver's Baba.